Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car at Corvette Nationals in Rosemont, Illinois. And I met Steve. Steve, what's your last name? Steve Atwell. Steve Atwell. And Steve, well, he collects a few great Hemi cars, and this one he hunted down. Share with us this hunted car. It's a 1968 Hemi GTX convertible. It was a road test car for car craft, car life, and pop hot rodding, and it also paced the LA Times Riverside Grand Prix in 1967. The pilot car. The pilot car, built early. So you hunted it down and found it. Correct. Congratulations, step right alongside me. I bought and it. Let's and take a, let's take a look at this car. Tell me all about it. All right, I bought it in 1985 in Orange County, California, from the second owner. I have the original bill of sale. It was sold to Thomas Allen as a used car with 10,000 miles on it because it had been used in so many test vehicles that pace of Riverside Grand Prix. Now it's the pilot car, but I am curious, why does it say one of 36? Is that 36 Hemi? It's total convertible Hemi convertible. Ah. Really one of a kind of Let's step back from it and get the overall side. And the microphone's right there, so you can tell me, continue to tell me about it. I'm going to keep moving back because this is quite the long car. Now, do you drive this anywhere other than the track when it's like an actual race and it becomes the pace car again? Do you ever drive it around the neighborhood? I've driven this car from Detroit to L.A. In 1968, it was a road test car. They picked it up in Detroit. Car Craft Magazine did it. You guys drove it to L.A. in 1999. We did the same article. We picked it up in Detroit and drove to L.A. again. We talked about magazine. That's a new magazine article about this. Wow. Three guys from Detroit. We went to River Drink Team. Back to L.A. Step back and take a look at the rear end. So when you were driving it, Steve, what was the reaction? What Tremendous. The reaction? We went to uh, White Sands, New Mexico. And we went into the park, and the, even the park ranger said, that can't be a real Hemi car. I know Chrysler. And he uh, looked at the bin and said, I'll be darned, it is a real Hemi car. It's amazing. And he led us into an area that we weren't supposed to be in to get some photographers. Some that really right? shot, so we have that in the article in, 60, in 1999. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I can show you these little pictures. The car that gives you permission from the rangers. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look at the trunk, shall we? Before we do that, let me just feature a couple of things. The all-important, very small little Hemi badge, the GTX. Go ahead, grab those keys. I'll be more than happy to shoot that rear end. That's great. And the GTX was the upgrade. Correct. It was a Roadrunner on steroids. Roadrunner on steroids. I like that. So we put some trunk and treats in here, and we'll take a look at that. Now, there was, uh, here's the article, and here's the article too. It's so, one of the article, yeah. So let me just do that, and I'm going to take enough time where you can pause on each piece. So you can see that, and you can take a moment and read that. Tells you who's in the pictures. Comes over here. I'll give you a second to pause on that. So, like, when you actually, well, this car was pretty well taken care of, or it was in a you know, when you found it, or you, you know, you searched for it. It was in pretty good condition. The motor was, you know, worn out. I rebuilt, restored the car. I'm going to give this to Ken. It needed repainted that. because the California car was faded real bad. Yeah. One repaint on it. That's your article in 1989, and that's in White Sands, New Mexico. That's where the Ranger let us go to for the picture photo shoot. That's the remake of the original article in Cartcraft Magazine, 30 some years later. That's pretty cool. 
Now, has this car ever been videoed? It's clearly in magazines. It's been a magazine, but never been. So this is the first video of this car. Correct. For the globe to see. So we're gonna take our time because this one, well, it's worthy. This is truly the amazing thing of the Muscle Car and Corvette National, to give a plug to them, is you don't see this amount of cars and this amount of collection together, ever. This is the first time it's being displayed as the pace car. It took me 20 years to figure out, when I read their magazine article in 68 about, it said it was a pace car for the Riverside Grand Prix, so I looked at 68 not realizing it was actually the 67 year because it was a pilot early build car that paces 67 Grand Prix, not the 68. And I kept looking at 68 and I never found it. And now we have found it and now we have the prominence. I have a, from SCCA the paperwork. Do me a favor, there's a little video with some chaparrales and things. Can you yeah. look at that while I look at your interior? Sure. All right, let's find that little video footage. While you're finding that footage, Even the seat belt's perfect. Power windows. Show that. You got your top up and down. You can see that it says the SCCA highlights. Mm -hmm. and you'll see it coming right here. There it is. And then you'll see it come around the corner here in a second. There it comes right around this corner. You'll see it leading to pacing the race right here. There it is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's uh, pop the hood, the almighty Hemi that we've been uh, looking forward to seeing. <coughs> wow. <laughs> was there any difficulty in the restoration? Like, gee, this was just impossible to find. Um, all of it. All of it. But luckily it came with the motor and it came with all the hard parts. But, you know, there's a lot of work with the detail and cables and sticker and all the, all the little details. And this has been restored. It was also the one of the first muscle cars ever to win the Concourse the Elegant Show at Meadowbrook Hall in Michigan. Is that right? Yeah, it was the first muscle car when they had it to win that as well. They just introduced muscle cars. They introduced muscle cars and here we are all these years later getting the chance to video. Let me just show that. Let's uh, fire it up, shall we? Sure. We'll keep the hood open. I'll stand behind it. We'll, we'll step on the brakes for a moment, and then uh, we'll give it a rev. Listen to that idle. If we could shut that trunk for a moment. Let's just step on the brakes one time and then uh, we'll give it a little rev.
that sounds pretty Dodge Dart. Get your right, we'll blood pumping. Yeah, we'll shut that off. Stay right there. Very exhilarating. Right? I mean, that's Brings just... Brings a kid back on all of us already. It sure does. I mean, I'm beaming. What a fun time. Thanks for bringing the car out. Thanks for being here at the show. Thanks for being on my car store. Thank you.